School districts statewide left to their own devices today on whether to continue to follow the governor's mask mandate for schools. This all started with a decision by a central Illinois judge. WGN's Alyssa Donovan spoke with a legal expert about what it means and what we can expect going forward. Yeah, and you know what? This is a lot of confusion going on right now. A central Illinois judge issued a temporary restraining order that prevents districts across the state from requiring students to wear masks at school. This ruling has created some chaos, sort of a choose your own rules situation for school districts across the state, whether to follow the mask mandate or not. Governor Pritzker has asked the Illinois Attorney General's office to appeal the decision. The judge's decision cultivates chaos for parents, families, teachers, and school administrators across the state. And I've asked Attorney General Kwame Raoul to seek to have the ruling overturned with all possible speed. But until that happens, legally, school districts can make their own choice on whether or not to follow the mask mandate in the classroom or side with the judge's ruling. At this point, until the, until the, um, the um, governor and the attorney general get the higher courts to overrule this lower court decision. School districts are going to do whatever they want based on their uh, political uh, and uh, you know and also policy or health uh, preferences because each can pick and choose. This all started with a lawsuit filed by parents and teachers from districts across Illinois regarding masks in classrooms. Sangamon County Circuit Court Judge Raylene Grishow ruling a temporary restraining order of the mask mandate for schools, not only those involved in the lawsuit but statewide writing in the ruling that the court acknowledges the tragic toll the COVID-19 pandemic has taken, not only on this state, but throughout the nation and globe. Nonetheless, it is the duty of the court to preserve the rule of law and ensure that all branches of government act with the boundaries of the authority granted under the Constitution. Northwestern law professor Nadav Shaked was surprised by the judge's action. I personally, uh would not necessarily agree with her on the ruling itself. Saying it's early in the litigation process for this decision. The lawsuit is still making its way through the court system. I think that's where the ruling is most problematic is in immediately giving the remedy now. Because that just doesn't, it's, it's, it's very tough to, when you give a remedy before the, the trial is over, you need to explain why if you don't give it now, there's going to be um, harm that cannot be remedied later on. So far, some school districts across Illinois have canceled classes, enacted new mask rules based on kids' ages, and parents are leading protests. Certain districts like Chicago Public Schools announcing early that they will continue the mask mandate despite the ruling. The judge specifically, my understanding is, exempted those districts where there was a collective bargaining agreement in place that allowed for mask wearing. So we believe that we are, while I don't agree with the judge's order overall, and uh, the governor has obviously already spoken about the fact that he's going to ask the attorney general to appeal it, the judge's order, as I understand it, um, and I haven't had the opportunity to uh, look at it yet, but I will, um, the judge's order, as I understand it, specifically exempts collective bargaining agreements where there is an agreement between the school district and the union to allow for mask wearing. So we're, uh, I think, completely consistent. Governor Pritzker hopeful the decision will be overruled quickly, noting concern about another surge in COVID cases and a possible return to remote learning if it stands. Masks keep kids safely in school in person, which we all want. Shakhad says the argument of the ruling is specifically that the wrong agency was used in order to adopt these rules and that the governor did not go through the right procedures. Shokhad says these are weak arguments and he expects that the state's appeal will overrule the judge's decision. It's hard to say just how quickly that could happen. Mm. Reporting in studio, Alyssa Donovan, WGN News. Thank, Thank you, you, Alyssa.